doctor in the house has my vote, and I can only hope that our politicians were watching too. There was no miracle cure in these cases, just time that Dr. Rangan Chatterjee was given to help his patients. Doctor in the house would surely have had their vote hungry minds spinning thus, hey, a GP goes to stay with a family for 24 hours and sorts out their health problems, what a vote winner they would be. Is it too late to get it in the manifesto? Obviously, such a policy would be utterly impractical and prohibitively expensive but it's no more outlandish and undeliverable than some of the carrots we have seen dangle do far. The again, with all these cyber attacks maybe installing GPs in our homes will be the only way of ensuring healthcare in future. If Dr. Rangan Chatterjee's success rate was anything to go by 24-hour one-to-one consultations certainly sound wonderful. Cheshire mum Gemma Hughes had been suffering up to 16 debilitating cluster headaches a day for the worst part of 13 years and it was having a devastating effect on family life. Within two months Rangan had helped her so much she was going whole days without a single episode. Paralympian Gary Farmer was suffering crippling shoulder pain before Rangan came to stay. Within weeks the pain had all but gone. It might sound like witchcraft but there was no miracle cure in either case. Rangan was simply showing what can be achieved when GPs are given the time and resources to investigate root causes and prescribe correct treatments. On second thoughts, I hope our politicians were watching.